friends, welcome to Miss Woodward Reads. Today I'm reading a wonderful spring book about animals, but I'm reading a book by a local author, an author that is from our area, Kate Messner. So today I'm reading Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt, written by Kate Messner, art by Christopher Silas Neal. I really love Kate Messner. She writes books for young children, older children, teenage children, chapter books. She is a great author. Oh, I know that my garden kind of looks like this right now. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. What do you think they're dreaming about? I still see snow on the ground. I think they're thinking about what their garden could look like. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? What's down in the dirt? When the ground is thawing, what's down there? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So they're cleaning up their garden, they're preparing it, to plant seeds. Does this garden look ready? Not yet. Down in the dirt. Pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly poly round. Has anybody ever seen this type of bug, the pill bug? If you touch them, they roll right up into a little ball. They are very good for our earth and they go through and you can see they nibble they nibble last year's leaves that are um, decomposing out in nature, out in our gardens, and they're nibbling it up and using it, a, using it as a food source. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Wow, this is a great illustration to show what is happening above ground and what's happening below ground. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. See what's happening below ground? Always take a, bre a break and drink your water if you're working out in your garden. Make sure we have our sunblock on. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! Are they playing together? Anybody have a grandparent that they get to play with and they're so fun? That's such a great memory for her. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Do you see the spider? Can you see him? Spiders are great for our planet. They help control mosquito populations. So whenever I see a spider, I remember all the good things that they do for us and I make sure not to hurt them. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. There is nothing better than when your garden starts to bloom and you get to have some nice garden snacks that are so healthy for your body. Down in the dirt, 
A robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Do you see all those things? See the slug down here? Pretty cool. I love the illustrations in this book. Oh, one of my favorite flowers, a sunflower. Do you see Nana and the little girl in the background? I like that they used a silhouette. I also see something flying in the sky. What is that? It's a bat. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. <gasps> Uh-oh. Who's coming to the garden? Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But, what do the grasshoppers do? Snap! Whoa! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Look at the snake eating. The garden snake is eating a cricket. <gasps> this is an illustration where I say, I would love to live in it. It is so beautiful. I can imagine the wind blowing the leaves and the beautiful sunflowers and it looks like fall is coming because I see pumpkins down below. Up in the garden the wind grows cool, pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. That is so cool. Her Nana probably used twine or string and tied the sunflowers together to make like a little hut, a little special hideaway to read in. That is so cool and such a great idea. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. What did she catch in her web? Some moths. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, Frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Have the seasons changed? They have. We saw the seasons change all the way through this book. We went from winter turning to spring, spring turning to summer, summer turning to fall, and now we have fall turning back to winter. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. Are they getting ready to hibernate for the winter? This is a beautiful illustration. What a gorgeous drawing. I can see them in the background. Do you see them at the top of the page? Grandpa's on the porch and Nana and the little girl are standing in front of the porch. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. And I can see the silhouette of an animal in the moon. What is it? A little squirrel on a branch. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter, but the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. the end. And I really like that the author, Kate Messner, she has uh, a lot of great information here about the animals that we saw in this book. She also leaves an author's note and further reading. I love when authors do that. If you were really interested in um, gardening or nature or flowers or animals, she has put in other books that you could find and read about the topic. Look at all this great information about all the animals in this book. If you want to know more about earthworms or long-legged spiders or cutworms, when I read the word cutworm, I said, hmm, what's a cutworm? I didn't even know what that was. Cutworms aren't really worms. They're moth larvae that hide during the day and feast at night. Did you know that? I did not. 
so much great information in this book. This is a beautiful book. Oh, and I love the drawings at the end too. The end. So if you are thinking about getting ready to garden and plant your garden at home, or maybe at your grandparents' house, or maybe you even garden in the community garden in Plattsburgh, this is a great book to read to get ready for that time of year. Thanks, my friends.